Hey guys, it's Tira, and today I'm doing a book on fall reading recommendations. I also did this video last year, so I'll link that video down below because I also have like five book recommendations if you want some more. But today, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about seven books that I think are perfect for the fall time, whether they fit the mood or the atmosphere, or I just think of fall when I read them. But yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the fall reads. The first book, which I think is perfect for the fall time, is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This follows a man named Albert Ellingham, and in the past, he opens this school where basically you can go for free and it's like this academy and he loves riddles so this place is full of riddles and he loves that kind of like mazes and puzzles and stuff like that so he puts a lot of that in there and then one day his wife and daughter get kidnapped no one can solve the case except years later stevie bell our main character and also a crime enthusiast goes to the school to figure out what happened to his wife and daughter and when she's there there's another murder and she figure has to figure out what who's doing it and who's involved and it's a very fall book. Like even the cover has like it's blue and it has leaves on it and I think it's perfect for fall because it suits the dark and mysterious atmosphere of the autumn season and the whole mystery aspect and crime and I think I just think of that when I think of fall I think of dark things and when I think of dark things I think of murders and crime so that's why I think this book is perfect. Characters are great I love the writing and the plot twist and the cliffhanger at the end has me dying to read the second book. Um, I think the second book is called The Vanishing Staircase or like something to that and I'm so excited because this book is so so good and I I think it's perfect for if you're looking for more mystery in YA I think this is the perfect like gateway book to get into more mystery so yeah I really recommend Truly Devious if you're looking for a perfect fall book the second book I'm gonna be talking about that is my fall recommendation is War Cross by Mary Lou War Cross is a book about this girl named Amika Chen and basically they live in this world that everyone's obsessed with this video game called War Cross all right and our main character Amika Chen is a bounty hunter who basically goes off and tries to catch people who are cheating at the game or playing illegally. Then one day she accidentally glitches herself into the game and then the game's creator takes interest in her and invites her to Tokyo and basically tells her to help him find this person who is hacking the game. This book is so good. This is one of my favorites of last year. This is how much I love this book and I love like video game centric stories in general. Like I loved Warcross. I love like books like Ready Player One. I'm just really, really fascinated and interested in the books like those. So this was such a perfect book for me. And the sequel Wild Card, I believe just came out today, the day I'm filming this. I have no idea when this video is gonna be uploaded. But yes, the sequel is out and I'm so, so excited to pick it up because I can't wait to see where the story goes and see what happens to the characters and it's such a good book. Oh my god, you have to read it. I think this reminds me of Fall because one day it was released in Fall and the sequel just came out today, which is Fall. But you know, I think it's a good book to read any season, but I think it's still like a good read for the fall. The third book on this list is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. This book is actually one of my favorites of this year and I, I love this book so so much. This book follows the main character Lee and her story of she believes that her when her mother killed herself she turned into a bird. So to confirm this she goes to Taiwan to meet her maternal grandparents and basically to figure out what happened to her mother and where it all went wrong. This book is so sad and I think it's perfect for the fall time because it has again it has that dark heavy atmosphere and tone to it because it's about something a tragic subject like suicide. So yes um, I'm a trigger warning on this it talks about suicide and grief and um, but if you if you can read it I highly highly recommend it it's so good. And like I said I think of it as a fall book because of the atmosphere and I think that it has like a whole underlying tone of hope but the overall like atmosphere is very dark and she's trying to figure out what happened to her mother and there's very some sad memories um, attached to that feeling obviously so I just I, I became really sad when I read this book but I love it so so much I think it has so much emotion and the writing style is so beautiful it took me about like 50 pages to get into but once I was into it I was flying through it I could not putting down I read this in like probably like two to three sittings and I just devoured this book and I really hope that you pick it up because it's so good it's like one of my favorites of the year and let me tell you it's hard like I read a lot of book five stars so so it's really hard for a book to be like my favorite of the year and so if it's a favorite it means something and that's why I'm telling you to pick it up. That was actually the third book and this is actually the fourth book in this list of my fault recommendations and that is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Gentleman's 
Rosamund's guide, advice and virtue, it follows the main character, Henry, and he's basically this fool, drunkard kind of dude, parties hard, wakes up in other people's beds the next day, doesn't know where he was the whole night, oh, and he goes by the name, like his first name is Henry, but he goes by the name Monty, and basically he goes on this grand tour of Europe with his crush, Percy, and they basically spend time together, except Monty gets tied up in this stolen artifact, I guess, from somewhere that they stopped during the tour, and now it's a whole wild cat chase, and they have to run away. So yes, this trip becomes a manhunt, and they're running for their lives, but I think the main character, Monty, is hilarious. This is some of the best humor I've ever read about. He's so funny, and such a lighthearted character, and I think that's really like important. I love that sometimes in books. I think sometimes we don't really get a lot of like funny characters or characters that are meant to be humorous um, but I think this book does a really really good job at it and it's such a beautiful cover like I love this cover and the color of the spine I don't know why this book reminds me of fall maybe it's cuz the dark cover I don't even I you know what I don't even know my criteria for this list but you know what take these as it is just take it as a recommendation cuz it's really good and the second book the ladies guide to petticoats and piracy is coming out this year and it follows the uh, Monty sister Felicity and she was one of my favorite characters in this book um, so I'm really really excited to read that book because I'm sure it's going to be so great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The next book on this list is a book that kind of goes with this uh, fall dark atmosphere that I think of and like heavy topics and that is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. Dear Martin follows the main character Justice McAllister who is an Ivy League bound student and he is one day handcuffed to his car for trying to help a friend. That situation rattles him and it leaves him thinking about a lot of things about social justice and he starts writing letters to Martin Luther King Jr. about the world today and that's why the book is called Dear Martin. This book is so so important and deals with such important concepts such as like the treatment given to African Americans today in our world which is just terrible. Later on in the story um, the main character Justice he goes out with his friend Manny on a car ride and Basically, this white police officer that was off duty sees them and they he complains that their music is too loud and shots are fired and Justice has to deal with it all. This book, again, so important. If you read The Hate You Give, you should read this if you haven't already because they're very similar in that aspect. It's like, some people call it the little brother of The Hate You Give, which I think is a perfect term for it. And again, if you've read this and you haven't read The Hate You Give, you should also read that because those two kind of go hand in hand because they have, they're very similar um, topic-wise. They are very heavy in the sense of the atmosphere and the overall tone of the novel because it is a serious topic. Yes, I think this book is also perfect for the fall time if you're looking for a more serious contemporary because I always love to read like contemporaries with a heavier tone or m that talk about more serious topics during the fall because I think it just fits the mood um, of the whole darkness and not that this book is like dark but it just deals with like heavier topics and I think that's why it's a perfect read for fall. Second to last book I'll be talking about is a book that came out last year and that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Strange the Dreamer I chose because this book just has a beautiful atmosphere and I think it's perfect for fall. Um, it just has a very just beautiful writing. I think it's perfect for the fall time. This book I think is perfect for fall. It has that great atmosphere and the sequel Muse of Nightmares is coming out this uh, year also in the fall time. So I think that's why I, th I associate with this fall. I associate a lot of books that come out in fall with fall obviously. So I think this is just one of those books but it's just a recommendation. Just take it as a recommendation. It's really really good and I think the atmosphere and the whole concept of it is beautiful and I love the beautiful writing. Lainey Taylor does an excellent job at creating this beautiful world and I just can't wait to pick up the sequel to see where the story goes because I always enjoy her writing. I really like the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and I think this is set in the same world. So yeah, I can't wait to figure out what happens and to basically re- I might reread this soon, who knows, because I just really want to get devoured into this, like immersed into this world again. So yeah. You know, you should read it too because you know, you should read all of these books. You should read every single book on this list. And the last book on this list is a book that I think closes out this list perfectly, and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. The Cruel Prince is about this girl named Jude, and her parents are murdered when she's seven by these fairy people, and she's whisked away to this fairy world um, where she lives um, there, and she wants to be a fairy and she grows up, except 
everyone kind of hates her because she's not fairy. And the one who hates her the most is Prince Cardin, who is the youngest and wickedest son of the king. I think what I love about this book is the political intrigue. There's a lot of politics, a lot of betrayals, a lot of um, connections between people and politics again. So that's why I really, really love this book. I think I really think of the fall because I think of any fairy book or like fey book as a fall book for some reason and I think this just falls into that category so that's why I think of it as a fall book. And yeah it's fantasy so I think uh, fall is the perfect time to read fantasy. I'm always more in a mood to read more fantasy during the fall time as opposed to any other season so that's why I included it on this list but this book is so good. I love the writing. I love Holly Black's writing and the way she creates this world. I think she just has a talent with um, creating like fairy worlds. That's like her thing. So yeah she did that very well in this book and so that's why I'm recommending it to you. It's really good and I can't wait for the sequel, The Wicked King. I can't wait and I I can't believe I have to wait like six more months I think until the sequel comes out but you know it's gonna be worth the wait because I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. But yeah that is it all for my fall reading recommendations. Let me know down below what is a book that you think fits perfectly for the fall season as I would love to know but that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>